DNS sequence databases. As I told you that uh, due to advancement in DNS sequencing techniques, no, uh, the, the rate of accumulation of uh, sequence uh, information, it is no more rapid and the data has been accumulated. Uh, so different databases uh, have been created around the world uh, uh, that can share information on daily basis and most important one you may be well familiar it is NCBI that is a, a National Center for Biotechnology uh, Information and uh, uh, this database it is uh, under the control of United States Library of Medicine or uh, NLM which is a part of NIH, that is National Institute of Health in the uh, United States. And this NCBI website, a database, uh, it is having uh, different type of uh, activities, but the two databases are most common. So, pehli wali jo hai, isko gene bank kaha jata hai. So, jo bhi nea sequence aata hai, for example, kisi microbe ke liye, ya kisi or organism ke liye, that may be important from uh, to find relationship between different type of organism it is being submitted in the gene bank and a different type of accession number you can get after submission your uh, sequence so this is one of the activity that you can deposit your sequence and you can get the uh, accession number and you can identify different type of samples especially microbial samples are the sample from uh, higher organisms in addition to that Another database that is uh, um, under the control of NCBI, it is uh, PubMed, bibliographic website, where data related to biotechnology or uh, biomedicine, uh, it is available. It is not only nowadays restricted to biomedicine, but uh, uh, from other field of life sciences, you can get uh, the information by using uh, NCBI website. In addition to that, another database uh, that is uh, EBI or European uh, Bioinformatic Institute. It is under the control of EMBL that is also a very famous uh, database. And the DNA uh, Data Bank of Japan, uh, it is also one of the example. And one can assess these uh, different bases very easily by using internet and hopefully you are well aware from your basic courses of bioinformatics so uh, as far as the course of gene manipulation is concerned uh, it is not uh, within our scope but briefly I can uh, pinpoint a few uh, websites for example here are the internet tools for gene discovery and DNA sequencing data and here are a few examples of the home pages that are available online like European Molecular Biology Laboratory or EMBL the first one and its website here and then of course in UK a Human Genome Mapping Project Resource Center the next one that is uh, important it is related to Gene Bank and of course DNA Data Bank of Japan you can also assess online next it is Sequence Translation Databases that is how you can translate nucleotide sequence to the protein so for this purpose you can assess EMBL and then forward and reverse translation and then protein and cDNA translation you can also carry it out by using different databases next one is protein sequence databases available as translated EMBL then sequence alignment that if you want to compare the sequences from different sources then you have certain software that uh, are available online and next one it is the new sequence submission as I told you earlier that if you have discovered uh, a new sequence or you got a sequence from different organisms like some microbial species and after refining it you can submit either at EMBL or uh, gene bank so uh, you can get the accession number after depositing your sequences on these databases 